see we have here finding the equation of a circle given the center which is negative 4 3 in a tangent line which is y equals negative 4x minus 30 okay so we all know that for us to identify the equation of a circle we need to consider the equation uh, the coordinates of your center and of course the length of your radius but for our given for this case of the equation of the circle given only the center and of course the tangent line so if i'm going to show you the connection or the relationship of the center and then the tangent line okay here we have here this diagram okay so we have here the circle okay, as you observe here and then we have here the center and then we have here also another line which is your tangent line as you observe when we see tangent line it is a line that touches the circle uh, which is uh, passes along the circle at one point so i'll repeat a tangent line touches the circle at one point along the circle okay and we all know also that when we connect the center and of course the point of tangency it forms a perpendicular line okay so what the, what will be the relationship of the center to that point of tangency so meaning the perpendicular form from your center and then the point of tangency to the tangent line is said to be um, perpendicular and of course out of that we would be solving the uh, point of tangency by of course it's either substitution method or uh, what you call the elimination method so be before that let us first identify the equation of your perpendicular line okay so we all know from the given we have here um, of course the center which is at negative 4 3 and of course the tangent line which is y equals negative 4x minus 30 if we're going to rewrite this one it is 4x plus y equals negative 30 okay why do we need to rewrite because in order for us to identify the equation of your perpendicular line okay it's just a matter of substituting your numerical coefficients of your x and y so meaning for uh, x this would become the numerical coefficient of your y and then your y here will be the numerical coefficient of your x so meaning again so for x simply it's x y x because of the numerical coefficient of y is 1 and then the numerical coefficient of x is 4 this becomes the numerical coefficient of your y okay so again it's just interchanging the numerical coefficient of your x and y okay and then of course followed by opposite signs and then there you have and of course this would be uh, equated to unknown yet okay what will be the value of your constant how do you solve that all we need to do is to substitute the value of your center or the point negative 4 and 3 to your values of your x and y so we come up now with negative 4 and then this one okay 4y is the value of y is 3 okay simplifying it further negative 4 and then of course negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 negative 4 minus 12 is simply it's negative 16 okay so therefore this 16 now becomes the value of your constant on your x minus 4y so therefore our perpendicular line is said to be 4x uh, sorry sorry it should be x minus 4y okay x minus 4y equals negative 16 this is now our equation for your perpendicular x minus 4y equals negative 16 okay and out of identifying your perpendicular line as what i have told you a while ago the relationship of your center okay the relationship of your center to your point of tangency okay is that we are going to what we are going to solve for the intersection of that from your uh, perpendicular line and your tangent line okay to solve for this point of tangency and what's the relationship of that point of tangency it's the point where we could later on solve for the length or the distance of your radius from the center to that point of tangency okay so again from the perpendicular line we're going to use that for solving for the point of tangency okay so given your tangent line and your perpendicular line 
Okay? So, all we need to do because the tangent line is said to be y equals negative 4x minus 30, it's just a matter of what? We're going to substitute the, this y to your perpendicular line. So, therefore, x minus 4 quantity, the value of your y here is negative 4x minus 30, okay, quantity equals negative 16. Okay, we simplify it further by distributive property. So, we have x minus uh, negative 4 times negative 4x is said to be positive 16x. Okay, and then negative 4 times negative 30 is positive 120 equals negative 16. After that, okay, we simplify it further. Combining like terms, x plus 16x is said to be 17x. And then, um, we have positive 120. Transpose this one on the other side. So, this becomes negative 16 minus 120 because we have transposed positive 120 on the other side. So, it's just a matter of changing the sign. Okay? So, we come up now with 17x equals negative 16 minus uh, 120 is equals to negative 136. We are to solve for the value of x. So, divide both sides by 17. Okay? Then, therefore, our value of our x is simply negative 8. So, negative 136 over 17 is negative 8. Now, we have the value of your x, which is negative 8. Next is, we are going to solve for, solve for y. Okay? To solve for y, okay, it's just a matter of substituting it once again to our equation of our tangent line, which is y equals negative 4x minus 30. Okay, so um, we have solved already for the value of u x, which is negative 8. So we're going to substitute. So we have now negative 4. Again, what's the value of our x? A while ago, we have solved it negative 8 minus 30. Then simplifying it further, negative 4 times negative 8 is negative 32 minus, uh, I'm sorry, negative 4 times negative 8 is said to be positive 32. Okay. So, 32 minus 30 equals, equals positive 2. Okay? So, 32 minus 30 is positive 2. So, therefore, this is now the value of your y, which is 2. And then, of course, this x and y, the values of your x and y is said to be now your, yes, you're correct. That is now your point of tangency. Okay? Our pt now is negative 8 and 2. Meaning, from the center, from our diagram here, Okay, from the center to this point of tangency, we have already identified our point of tangency. And out of that, okay, the next thing to consider is the length of your radius from the center to this point of tangency. Because we all know in considering the equation of the circle is we need your coordinates of your center and the length of your radius. Okay, so the next thing to consider again is the length of your radius. We have, uh, we know already our point of tangency and of course the center. Okay, it's through the use of our distance formula, so we have here the, des uh, the center and of course the point of tangency which is negative 8 and 2. All we need to do now is to substitute from our given formula of the distance formula. Okay, so we have your x sub 1 here is negative 4. Okay, and then negative, negative 8 times negative is positive 8. Then square it. Okay, and then we have 4y y sub 1 is 3, and then negative 2. Uh, 2 ne times negative is negative 2. Then is square it. Simplifying it further, negative 4 plus 8 is simply 4. Okay? Is simply 4. Then is square it. It is said to be 16. Okay? And then afterwards, 3 minus 2 is 1. Then is square it. It's simply 1. Of course, do not forget to extract or affix our... Uh, what do you call this one? Our radical sign. So, 16 plus 1 is simply square root of 17. This is now our radius. Square root of 17. Okay? Units. Okay? After doing this, uh, solving for the length of your radius, which is square root of 17 units, we are now, what? We, are, we know already our center. Then, of course, we know already our length of your radius. So, the next thing to consider this is, what? Our standard form. So, from our standard form, okay, 
which is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is said to be r squared. So all we need to do is to substitute our um, h and k, which is the center. So we have now um, x uh, negative, y negative, then negative 4, positive 4. Okay, squared. Plus, of course, our k is positive 3 times negative, it's negative 3 square then of course our our r is square root of 17 units then do not forget to square it we all know also that once we square a radical sign automatic the radical sign will be cancelled out so therefore simplifying it further x plus 4 quantity square plus y minus 3 quantity square is said to be 17 this is now our equation of our circle which is said to be a uh, given the center and your tangent line. So again, this is our equation. Okay, from the center to your tangent line.